Okay, so this movie. I was working on, on this video a while and then finally the, the, the other morning the news hit. The movie had been nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Feature and I saw this film twice already. Once regular and the second time on 3D just because I had to see all this visual flare pop out of the screen. So, back to the drawing. First, I was trying to get the quintessential Spidey pose, and I did look at reference from the Spectacular Spider-Man TV show, and also Into the Spider-Verse, of course. My first introduction to Spider-Man was a reprint from Spain of the classic comic The Death of Gwen Stacy, which is why I connected with that character ever since, and I kind of wanted her in, in the Sandra movies, but then when I, when, when I did get her, it wasn't quite Gwen Stacy, how I knew her. But this is why I love Spider-Gwen so much, because it's like, Gwen Stacy, come back. Okay, so back, back to Spider-Verse. The look of the thing. The, the look of the thing feels like, like, like a new toy. They use shaders and lighting to replicate the halftones effects from, the print, from printed media and the comics. And you have, I know that this, this has been said before about the movie, but I cannot do a video on this and not mention it. So this film and, and its themes, the, the, the themes are mostly focused on expe expectations. Uh, it is stated in the film multiple times and it's also foreshadowed in the story proper. Uh, Miles gets asked to write an essay on expectations and also Miles literally paints a, a graffiti on the wall set that says no expectations and he outlines his body in the middle of it with the help of his uncle. Um, I hope should I mention the there's gonna be spoilers you guys it's been a while since the movie is out so spoilers uh, so the film opens with the uh, in introduction to Peter Parker uh, lo lots of reference to the to the Spider-Man films and it, it does let us know that Spider-Man has been around for a while in, in this universe and he's well known introducing us to and then it also introduces us to Miles and his family and th they're a, a bilingual household his mother is Puerto Rican his father is black and part of that re reflects uh, by reality which was nice it's a, a nice nod his mom uh, also, his mom has the the anime hair of death, which I was a little worried about her through the film, seeing, seeing how Spider Folk have a tendency to lose lo loved ones. This film, uh, another moment, uh, it made me it made me cry like right at the beginning. Um, it, so in this in this world, Spider-Man is already famous, and Miles looks up to him. And the moment they meet, Miles has just gained powers. Uh, Peter Parker promises him that he will help him figure out his powers and that he will train him. And minutes after that, he gets trapped on the rubble. And and after he gets dipped into the beam from the the collider, the the multiverse machine, and and that's kind of like what gets this film going and the reason that everything happens the way it does. And the golden moment for me was when he gives Miles a, a flash drive the, so he can stop the, the, the collider and he's hurt and Miles asks, uh, can you get up? And Peter responds, uh, right, I always get up. And, and there's a doubt in his voice, and, and he's unsure that he can walk away from this one. But he prioritizes Miles' safety and the flash drive, and tells him, and tells him uh, swing up there and stop this. And then the, the Kimpin comes in, Miles hides, and he's just a kid. He he just he just got his powers, and and then we are we're forced to watch. Uh, from Miles' point of view, uh, while Peter tries to bargain with Kimping and talks his way out, talk, trying to talk his way out of it, and he tells uh, Kimping, um, "I know what you're doing," and as he had been dipped into the into the beam from the, the collider, followed by, uh, "You will never get them back," and blam, the Kimping slams Peter Parker and kills him, and this made me a mess in the theater. One of my other favorite moments from the movie was when they reveal uh, Dr. Octopus. Um, so they introduce Liv, a physicist, a scientist, and she gets introduced at, at the very beginning uh, in doing a presentation on multiverse theory in a projector in class. And later, uh, Miles and, and, and Peter Parker from another dimension uh, have to go steal, steal data to stop the collider. And Peter asks Miles um, to point out which of the scientists is the one who you know who who knows the who, who is the head scientist. 
and Miles points out at Liv and says something along the lines of uh, the woman with the bicycle. And Peter says, well, I have to check my own biases. And uh, <laughs> it, and then later, um, um, she meets Peter and she reveals her, her, herself to be uh, Dr. Octopus. And she kind of, her, her whole attitude and, and her character kind of just steals the whole, the whole movie a little bit. Um, her, her tentacles are, are different from the regular uh, Dr. Octopus t t tentacles, which are normally just metal and machinery. Uh, hers are, are more like air pressure um, and on the style of, of soft, soft robots that, that I, I've seen a while back. So it kind of like, it kind of hit uh, home. My, my, my nerdiness kind of blow up all over it. So yeah, they move. Uh, they move by, I suppose, air, air pressure. And let me show you a quick video here from from a, a, something similar to that. So it's just different, and it's cool, and it's based on real science, and I like science. So if I if I have one critique for this movie is that the movie moves at like 90 miles per hour, and if I have a, any criticism is that is that the movie the movie does move really really fast but i mean it does slow down here and there to give you like character moments uh, in the middle of all the action and all the jokes and all the spider folk intros lots of spider folk intros and uh, um characters that, that that stood out to me mostly obviously spider one and also Aunt may and may uh, she's just a really fun, fun character on here and she, she does get a, a really a few cool moments and she has a connection with uh, Dr. Octopus. Um, Dr. Octopus when she first introduces herself um, she says that uh, my friends call me Liv and my enemies call me Dr. Octopus and then when when they storm Aunt May's house at some point in the movie uh, Aunt May says Liv as in there's a personal connection there for some reason and uh, they, they left it vague and open, so we'll know in more in the sequel. Hopefully, they, they touch on that. So, in closing, this is the the, the final res re result, and these are the the colors that I, that I went with. I tried to do the the half tones, but I didn't want to do it too too obvious. Um, so I just left it a little bit just within the color, like you, you can see it, but it's not like it's not very big, big. Um, so let me know if you like this video and if you like this drawing and I'm going to put it up on my on my t-shirt uh, websites, the links are going to be below. If you like this channel, um, please subscribe and let me know what you think of the movie. If you liked it, if you saw it, if you've seen it more than once like I did. And January the 18th was my birthday and I celebrated my, my, my birthday party um, on the following day, uh, January the, the 19th, Saturday. And it was a very quick uh, last minute thing because uh, ever since my mom passed away last year, I haven't celebrated any, any kind of party. Uh, I used to do like my birthdays and, and Halloween and for like a whole year we haven't. And then dad asked, why well, wasn't I doing a party this year? And I went ahead and threw a party together in like two, three days. Uh, a few of, of my friends showed up, thankfully, and I wanted to thank you guys for showing up and, and coming and ma making my party party uh, a fun actual party. Because by myself, I would have been just me with croquetas and some tequila. <laughs> and um, uh, somebody saw a, a, a video of me blowing a balloon and he asked, he or she, not sure, asked uh, if I could uh, blow a uh, balloon into the pot. So let's do that, because I said I would do it.
Jesus, it's getting really big. person that asked me to do that um there you go i uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, <laughs> and i also wanted to go ahead and, and open again my gifts from the from the party and thank my friends uh thank you to hansel for getting me the, the, the gift card i went ahead on amazon and got a another volume of battle andrew alita the manga uh, it was a side story volume that i didn't have yet that's coming but thank you hansel that, that's a gift card for it Let's see what's this. That's it. Ah, let's just start here. So, thank you, Brian, for this awesome PlayStation hat that I will use on my streams whenever I do PlayStation stuff now. Um, also, Brian, thank you for your really cool Kingdom Hearts uh, wallet that I will use when I go out to not do serious stuff uh, for job interviews, though. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Brian, for this pot. It's from Kingdom Hearts 3. It's Sora uh, in the form of um, Monsters Inc. world. Which, just for the record, um, I really don't like pops, but I'm gonna have this one and I'm gonna set it right behind me. So he's gonna be on my videos from now on. Usually, I like to give pops, I don't like to collect pops. But this one came from Brian, so thank you. And you tell them that the keyblade is really nice. Little pop. And maybe you eat like here from now on. Judging me in my videos. Spider Man. There we go. Oh, you can't see him because of the. What does that say? There. So he's gonna be for now, there from now on. And also, now moving to Ian's person. Thank you, Ian, for this. He got me a, a similar uh, figure last time, but this time he went all out and gave me Riku. Yeah. Yeah, people know I like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Ergo, this. And some stuff survived from the, my birthday party, so. Um, so yeah, th th thank you guys so much for everything and for watching my, my videos and for coming to, to, to my party and for the gifts. I didn't I didn't want gifts. I wanted this to just bring booze so we could party together. But thank you for the gifts anyway. I didn't have to, but I do want I do appreciate them. I want to keep them. So thank you. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video now and. If you want to see more of this stuff, uh, please subscribe. Bye. Or give me a like on Facebook or share this with your friends or what have you. Spider-Man, Spider-Man.